Hi and welcome, I'm Andreas. In the past I've often been confused about the great variety of different draw slides that's available and I never really knew which ones are what for and which ones to pick. So when I recently built a draw cabinet I thought it would be a good uh, occasion to learn a bit more about it so I reached out to Hettich which is a German manufacturer of high quality hardware and talked to them about their different types of draw slides and in this video I'm going to tell you and show you what I learned about those different types and hopefully it will give you some orientation that I lacked so for so long and that maybe you can get now in this video. And just to be clear, um, this video is marked as advertisement because Hetty sent me these sample draw slides for free and therefore by German law I have to mark this as advertisement even though it's not an ad in the classical sense. So what did I find out? So in all the variety of slides that are out there, um, I identified three main types. The first one is called a roller runner. This is the simplest and cheapest of the slides. It has very few moving parts and therefore is not very complicated to install and also not very expensive. The second main type is a ball bearing slide that's mounted to the side of the drawer and that has ball bearings as the name suggests and that makes it run a little smoother than the roller runner and it also adds a few more moving parts so that's why um, it's a bit more expensive and with this type you can get a full extension so that means that you can in some types pull the drawer completely out in front of the cabinet so that you have the full depth of the drawer to reach to and there is a third type which is a high quality, high standard hidden slide which is intended for high quality furniture and when this is mounted you don't see the drawer slide when the drawer is pulled out because it's cleverly hidden under the drawer and inside the cabinet. And I'm now going to go through all of these three different types and tell you a little bit more about them. So when we now look at those different types in a little bit more detail, I've always only added the right one when you stand in front of the cabinet. Um, obviously there is always a pair of drawer slides that's to be installed, but to keep things a little simpler, this is always the one that's mounted to the right. Let's look at the roller runners first. As I said, they are fairly simple. There are just two pieces here um, and they have this plastic roller on both pieces and this piece goes into the drawer carcass and this one is mounted to the cabinet. And then you put it in here and then you can push the drawer in and that's that. So a fairly simple mechanism which is very simple to use. Therefore, these drawer slides already start at about 8 euros, so they're not very expensive. Um, and since they don't have a lot of moving parts, they are simple to handle and not very error prone. But on the other hand, they don't really um, yeah, run as smoothly as the other ones. But for example, for shop drawers, it was, this would be a perfectly suitable solution because, as I said, they are very cheap and still very functional. One um, limitation of this is that you can't get a full extension. So this is as far as it will go out. So the last 10% or so, or the last 20% of the drawer will not be able to be pushed out. So you will have a drawer that's slightly covered by the cabinet when the drawer slide is fully pulled out. The second type is, I suppose, the most common type and that's the ball bearing full extension one. Here you can already see this has a lot more parts to it. This is how you pull it out and as I said this is the full extension version now. So, so it, now it's completely pushed in and when you pull it out the drawer, which will end here, is completely in front of the cabinet. There's also a simpler version of this with ball bearings, which is only partial extension. But I suppose um, the most common use would be the full extension one here. Even though if you have a simple drawer and you still want a little bit of smoothness to it in contrast to the roller runner, then this partial extension one 
would also be interesting and this is the more common and um, sophisticated version which gives you full extension and as you can see here it has a lot of balls metal balls that are sitting in a grease bed so they run really smoothly and this is a really high quality product um, if you want to take the cabinet uh, the drawer out you press this button and then you can pull it out this is mounted to the drawer carcass and this remains inside the cabinet if you want to pull it back in you just push it in here push it in and then the drawer is mounted this is also available with a soft close option so then it has an extra contraption here at the back so when you push the drawer in the last couple of centimeters will be pulled in automatically at a very slow speed so that the drawer doesn't slap closed. The most sophisticated and most expensive one um, is this hidden one. Um, for Hattich it's called Quadro but other manufacturers obviously call theirs differently. Um, this is a mechanism that is mounted to the, the, the cabinet side with this piece and then all of this contraption here sits under the drawer so you don't see it when the drawer is pulled out. So the drawer would go on top here and you don't see anything of that and you have a stop mechanism that's also mounted um, hidden under the drawer so with this you loosen the drawer out of the out of its um, slide um, but everything as I said is hidden under the drawer and here as well so this is a very clever um, device to actually give you high quality looks and high quality mechanics this is very very sturdy you can put in about 40 50 kilos of weight in many of these um, but um, as i said they're also the most expensive these are about 40 45 euros and obviously they're also a little harder to install because everything has to be just perfect to um, to fit you have very small tolerances here so your cabinets and your um, drawer carcasses must be manufactured or built to a very high precision for this to work so let's look a little bit into the mounting methods for these different types first for these roller runners um, you basically well here here would be the front of the cabinet and this would be pushed out like this and then the drawer uh, the drawer carcass would just be mounted here I only show you now the the bottom of the drawer basically or if you wanted the side of the drawer um, so this would sit underneath and to the side of the drawer cabinet and you just screw it in here and from the bottom and then the whole thing could be moved out and if you want to take out the drawer it first stops here at a little notch that's in here and then you lift it up and then you can take the drawer out. So this is very simple, the drawer sits on top and to the side. With the ball bearing one you uh, have to be a bit more precise because obviously this thickness has to be exactly the, the gap between your drawer carcass and your cabinet so um, on both sides you have to build your drawer carcasses to about a millimeter tolerance so that these actually fit in and then you screw these the outer part to the cabinet wall and you screw this part to the drawer carcass and with this lever here you can uh, unlock the two and pull this out so you mount this to the drawer carcass and once everything is finished then you push the whole drawer in here There is this variation here with the, the partial extension ball bearing one. This needs a groove in the side of your drawer, um, which is good for stability because obviously then the wood sits around this um, slide and takes a lot of the force. Um, but obviously it's a little bit more work because you will have to route out or cut out these grooves um, for this to go in. On the other hand, this is a fairly cheap and simple mechanism so that might be an option in some cases. With this highest quality one with the hidden mechanism this always also sits under the drawer so the drawer sits on top and the the drawer bottom has to be set in enough 
so that this whole piece now disappears behind the drawer sides. So you have to keep that in mind by when, when constructing the drawers that your drawer button must be set in enough. And then this sits on top and you screw this piece to the cabinet side. And then when everything's closed, you only see a very thin piece of metal from the front and you don't see anything at all, even if the drawer is open um, because this is hidden under the drawer bottom. One thing I also asked Hettig, which has a DIY section and a professional section, if the quality of those two products is in any way different. And they assured me that the Hettig DIY section just contains the same quality drawer slides um, as the, the ones that are sold to professionals. The only difference uh, by, in, in the ones that are sold in hardware stores and so on is that there are fewer options available because they assume that um, DIYers don't know as much about drawer slides as a professional woodworker and therefore would be confused about all the different options so you have fewer options available um, but the quality is the same it's the same stuff that comes out of the same factories so that's I suppose an important thing to know because it's something I've always wondered so I hope you learned a little bit about drawer slides in this video just as I have doing the research and this was hopefully a little bit useful to you if it was, and if you're interested in some more, right next to me here um, on one of the sides, I never know, um, is the video with the cabinet built that I did this for. And if you want to watch inspiring videos in the future and learn along with me on my woodworking journey, make sure you subscribe and hit that, hit that bell button so you don't miss any future videos. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye and take care.